Yeah, so about harvesting birch bark. I'm gonna show you the bark. So this, this time of the year, after the tree has been growing under this layer of old bark, the, um, we have brushed these now before taking them off with a wire brush. But you see that the outer layers, they come off. It's like coming off, it's like a snake skin, you know, when the snake is growing almost. So the outer layers come off. And if you ever take birch bark just for making fires or so, it's really good to just take the stuff that is coming off anyway. Like no use of knife or tools. Oh, we have the first piece, the second piece done. Well done, mate. <laughs> so, um, and you see, it's like wonderful material. You see where the branches are. These are where the birch is breathing through, right? So these are breathing holes. And branches, like when you want to use this bark for um, basket making, basket weaving, for example, then you um, cut nice and, oh, the pretty. Um, you cut thin stripes. So all these parts where you have those branches, you cannot get long, thin stripes for the weaving. Um, so you have quite a lot of, let's say, offcut, which again can be used for many other things. For example, for making birch tar. So just like burning tar in general, um, you just fill a can with... Uh, I make a video about this. Coming up video about burning, how to get the tar. Dökötti. Finish out of the bark. Yeah, obviously really good roofing material. Uh, amazing for making fire, obviously. Uh, and yeah, possibly even for making um, birch bark canoes, um, drinking water containers, all that kind of things. So, and the birch is surviving this. It's of course not good for the birch because. The white bark protects it from heat expansion cracks and heat and cold expansion cracks in the wood in the springtime or late winter. Yeah, so you see we have harvested quite six trees already. Now this is number seven. <laughs> yep. So amazing material, really, really good stuff. And uh, these trees are going to be felled also. And so now we are removing bark, hmm. giving them more use. <laughs> okay, very grateful and grateful for the mosquitoes, of course, that you can maybe see are quite plentiful. Um, but part of the season feeling. So <laughs> that's um, if they bother you, you are not enough distracted, I think. So. <laughs> easiest way is to just let them be and enjoy them and be grateful that they are because without them human survival in the subarctic would not be possible very simple so gratitude to the mosquitoes hey though have a good time and have a look around at the channel there's some other stuff that might be interesting have a good time <laughs>